you already know what we like to do on this channel. We like to make fun of people's delusion. And who's more delusional than a fat person who thinks that they are healthy and are promoting obesity? Let's check out some fat acceptance, body positivity, TikToks. Let's go. There's nothing wrong with my body. Fat is not a dirty word. If my body tells me something, I will make sure it is heard. If your body tells you something, you're going to make sure that it is heard. What about all the times that it told you to exercise, to go move, go for a run? If my body is a vessel, I will give it what it needs. I will not betray my body no matter what they think of me. My body is a vessel and I will not betray it. I agree, you know, you should treat your body as a temple. That's why you should eat healthy. You should exercise, sculpt it little by little so you can see the potential that your body has. You already betrayed yourself. You know, so you don't have to worry about that one. You already did that. People need to learn the difference between giving your body what it needs and giving your body what it wants. Obviously, your body is going to crave sugar. It is going to crave those nice, tasty chips. Your body wants instant gratification because it's pleasure instantly. But your body, you know, what you, you know what your body needs? Your body needs nutrients. Your body needs good sleep. It needs vitamins. It needs vegetables. People might say, Oh, you don't know her lifestyle. She could go for runs. She could eat healthy. The evidence, it's all right there. You can see someone's lifestyle just by looking at their body. I'm fat, but big deal. I don't feel bad about it. You never made me feel bad about it. And just because there are some people in the world who want me to feel bad about it, doesn't mean I have to. <laughs> I just want to take a moment to look at the hashtag that this lady put. She put fat acceptance, hashtag fat liberation. Hashtag body positivity, hashtag the fat baddie, hashtag fat, hashtag woman supporting woman, hashtag self love, hashtag radical self love. L look at these comments. Beautiful, you look amazing. You tell them, queen, slay, you're perfect. Woman supporting woman, yeah, woman lying to other women. You might not feel bad about it right now, but when it starts affecting your health, you will start to feel bad about it, trust me. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. None of this makes sense. So let me get this straight. You went to multiple doctors who told you your health problems were because of your weight. You said you were 30 pounds overweight. Multiple doctors. It wasn't one, you know, so you can call them like fat phobic. All of this doctor was fat phobic. And you decide to go to a doctor who's going to tell you what you want to hear just so that you can pay them. You know, if this YouTube stuff doesn't work out, I might have to become a body positivity doctor you know you don't have to know nothing about medicine you just lie to people make them feel good finally not a fat phobic doctor and you get paid you get paid for lying to people i feel like that's a good job you know just scamming people i know you don't want to admit this but your weight does have an effect on your health like i said these people are delusional they'd rather hear nice comforting lies than harsh truths that are that can literally save their life their delusion is just incredible incredible i have no other words their delusion is incredible and we're here to laugh about it yeah thank you for watching go hit the gym i hope you take this as inspiration and just be better